Okay, welcome everybody to the English department uh, slides for the virtual GCSE Open Evening 2021. I know it's a bit of a funny one, English isn't, isn't exactly an option that you choose, but I just did want to give you a little bit of information about what the course entails, about what you're going to be doing um, in your GCSE in English. Uh, all the skills and all the practicing that you've been doing in Key Stage 3, it's been totally relevant um, and you'll recognise a lot of it when you come to GCSE. The idea behind that is we wanted to provide you with the best possible platform, the best possible starting position to start your GCSE from. So with us in English, you will study two GCSEs, one in English literature and one in English language. Um, we studied, so we studied some, some topics you might have already touched on, but in a different, different manner, in different texts. We study a Shakespeare, which you may already have been exposed a little bit to, but we study a whole Shakespeare text, a whole Shakespeare play, prose, poetry, and a more modern play as well. Uh, some of our texts are pre-19th century and some are more modern. However, what we really aim to do is we aim for you to practice how to read for meaning in a variety of different text forms. We learn about the wider context of why a text was written and how it brought about societal change. We develop our ability to craft pieces of writing as accomplished critics, as creative, imaginative thinkers. And we nurture and encourage students to read widely, read often and read with inclination. The English department at Aston Manor Academy is inclusive of all. And our shared vision is to enable all students to reach all of their potential and overcome all of their challenges all of the time. And how we do that is we provide an incredibly supportive environment for you throughout your GCSE. Of course, we would like you to be successful in your GCSEs in English, but most of all, we want you to be successful beyond the English classroom in your lives in general. OK, now I'd just like to give you a quick run through um, about the course itself and about how you will be assessed. So. Like I said, there's two GCSEs in English, so I'm going to go through English language first, and then I'll move on to English literature on the next slide. Okay, English language, it's 100% exam. So you will sit exams at the end of year 11 that will um, detail your final grade. There's two exam papers. One is, um, a, is based on fiction, the other based on non-fiction. So what I mean by that is, in your first exam, you'll read an extract from a piece of fiction. From a story. You'll then answer some questions based on that extract that you've read, demonstrating all of your reading skills. And at the end of that paper, you'll write a piece of fiction, a piece of creative writing, a story, to demonstrate that you're able to use those skills in your own writing. Okay? Then in paper two, like I said, non fiction, what I mean by that is you'll get two non-fiction extracts that would be newspaper articles or web pages something like that you'll then get some questions about those two extracts you've been asked to read maybe comparing the two extracts together and then again finally you'll do a piece of writing but this time it's a piece of non-fiction writing so for example writing your own article or writing your own speech or your own letter alongside that we also have to cover a speaking and listening assessment the assessment um, doesn't contribute towards your overall grade, but it will be another grade that you'll get alongside it. And you must um, present a short presentation to the rest of the class, which we all watch and mark. And um, you'll get given a grade, either a pass, a merit or a distinction for how well you're able to stand up and speak in front of the class. OK, and now, like I said, this is our GCSE in English literature. Again, two exams that we sat at the end of year 11 for English literature. On paper one, you will get one question based on the Shakespeare play Macbeth, and you'll get one question based on the 19th century prose A Christmas Carol. OK, in the, um, in the questions, you get given a short extract to read, and then you need, as part of your writing, you need to comment on the extract and then you go on and comment on the rest of the text as a whole. This really involves you developing your critical analysis and your, about, your ability to, 
to, to write solid essays, pieces of writing that really collate all of the knowledge and information that you know. Moving on to the second paper, you will answer one question on the play of an inspector calls. Um, you will then answer a question that will be a comparison question of two poems that you'll have studied from a poetry anthology. And you will then get two unseen poems for you to answer a question on as well. Both of our exam boards for English literature and English language are AQA. So we use the AQA poetry anthologies, which you'll study as part of the um, exam. And we use the AQA mark schemes for literature and language. OK, and finally, um, what can studying English lead to? What can you do after your GCSE in English? And to be honest with you, I don't think English would really hinder any career path that you choose to take. Um, after your GCSE in English, if you if you did really excel, if you really, really enjoyed it, if reading is something that you enjoy, you take pleasure in reading, you enjoy sitting and reading a text, you actually enjoy sitting and reading and picking a text apart, then we offer an A-level in English literature with um, Edexcel exam board, which would really suit you very well. So that's something to consider. After your A-levels, what, what careers could you pursue in English? There's lots. There's, uh, there's a wealth of careers that um, English would be really beneficial to. First and foremost, I probably should say, um, teaching. Uh, you will also de develop loads and loads of necessary skills that you might need in HR, in PR, marketing, journalism, publishing, sales, advertising, maybe in librarians, in mentoring, in consultancy work, and much more in sales, in all sorts of roles. You need to be able to write up reports. You need to be able to communicate, communicate on many different platforms. I don't just mean verbally. Lots of different forms of communication, and that's really where English is going to help you. English is a really versatile subject, and it's needed in so many different fields that the opportunity for you to develop and demonstrate your skills will attract colleges, sixth forms, universities and jobs.